Hey everyone, in today's class, we'll see how we can create a list of n integers and then how we can separate the positive number and negative number in two different lists. That means I will create a list of n integers uh, having both positive and negative numbers and then I can create two different lists out of that list having positive number in a separate list and negative number in a separate list. I will first uh, take a variable in which I can ask how many numbers the user want in that list. So for this, I am taking n and I will ask how many numbers you want. Okay. So this n has the number of elements in my list. So I will create a list. Maybe A is equal to, this is my empty list. Creating another list, one for positive number, named it as pause and creating another list. This is also an empty list, N E G. This will carry all negative numbers. Now to access the list, we have to take a for loop for B in range. Now inside this, I will take that N, okay? Now, now I am going to take all the values from the user only. So maybe well is equal to and then int and input. And I will ask the user enter number. Now, first of all, I will populate the empty list, which is a, which is the main list dot append. Append method will add all the element at the end of the list. And I am putting this well as argument. Now, this list is populated in every run or the new element is added in every run. What I will do is I will use if and then give a condition to check the number is positive or negative. So, a n, I am using this index operator and then b. So, so, for example, in first run, 0 will be passed and then in that run only, I am checking whether A of 0 is less than 0. Less than 0 is all negative numbers and greater than 0 is all positive numbers. So, here I am checking A, B less than 0. Then what it should do? Negative number I will append in the negative list A double P E N D. And then I am going to use this same index operator and then B. Now, else means, else means the number is greater than 0. And if it is greater than 0, the number is positive number. So here I will append this list or I will populate the list, which is POS and then B. So that's all for the loop. I will come outside the loop and then print all the three lists list is this is the main list now print and then i will list with positive numbers pos has all the positive numbers and then i will print list with negative numbers and this neg has all the negative numbers so i will save my program i will run and then i will explain it to you f5 is the key to execute it now first line is how many numbers you want so maybe six now enter number i am going to start the numbers so first is 34, second is minus 56, third is 90, minus maybe 4, then minus maybe 8, and then one more positive number that is 23. So if you can see, the main list is having all the numbers which are appended. Every new number we are inserting is added to the end of the list. If you can see this, this is done by append method. So this is the main list. Now list with positive numbers, all positive numbers 
that is 34 in our case this 90 and 23 these are the three positive numbers and three negative numbers minus 56 minus 4 and minus of 8 now let me explain the program to you see in our first line i am asking user how many numbers the user want in the main list so this list is the main list which is empty and the elements will be inserted by user's choice only this has this will have all positive numbers keeping it empty initially negative list again it is empty will be populated later now to access the list we have to use a loop so for b in range now if user enters a 6 in our case for example this loop will run 6 time and it will have range 6 range 6 means it will start with 0 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So in first run, 0 will be passed, then 1, then 2. This way, if it is 6, so it will be the last run will have 5, and 5 will be passed. So we are using this range and n. And if you remember, list first index is, or first element of list is also having index as 0. So now in first line, what we are doing in our loop, we are taking value from the user so that we can populate our list. This is the main list which is a dot append. Append method will add all the element to the end of the list. I am using argument as well. In this line, I am checking a, b. That means I am using this index operator. In our first run, 0 will be passed. So a0, that is the first element. If the first element is less than 0, less than 0 is negative number. So what I am doing is, I am using this neg list dot append and adding the current element to the negative list. Else, else means this is greater than 0. If it is greater than 0, the number is positive. So in this case, I am populating the positive list and append and whatever the current element is, it will be added to the positive list. This is the first run. In second run, again it will go and then one will be passed to B. Again, taking value from the user, appending or adding to the main list. Again, we are checking the current element is less or greater. And if it is less, it will be added to the negative list. Else, it will be added to the positive list. This is our second run. Again, third run, same way, fourth run, fifth run, and sixth run. So if it is our sixth run, five will be passed. As you know, the list first in elements index is zero. And if we have six element in our list, the last element will have index as five. Now coming out of the loop, why we are not printing this inside the loop? Because I want the list, the main list, and all the three lists to be printed only once. So that's why I am printing it outside the loop. And then I am first printing the main list and then the positive list and the negative. So this way we can populate our main list and in the same loop we can check the number is a positive number or a negative number and then we can separate these two numbers in the same loop only. So that's all for today's class. We'll see more about list in our next class. Thank you so much for watching.